Me and Tyler, we didn't plan our outfit today, but uh, <laughs> um, we're going to we do it. We did, a, actually. Did we did. We yeah, did plan our outfit. <laughs> so we're going to do um, a Kate Peter Sturgill song to start out with called My Stone Mountain Home. time songs since I'm back here at home craft days and I also wanted to do some uh, Anita Carter so this one she recorded back in 1955 I'm sure y'all will know it. it's called making believe yeah I'm I wanted to say I'm so happy and so thankful that Kelsey asked me to play with her I was so excited when she sent me the set list and said I want to do these songs and they were all Anita Carter songs so most people know the of course, the original Carter family had a long and storied career in country music, and they spawned off many, many generations of musicians. And so after the original Carter family quit touring, Maybell took her girls on the road and, of course, became staples of the Grand Ole Opry and the Johnny Cash Show. And Anita was one of her daughters who had a, who had a very successful solo career and even recorded some with Hank Williams, didn't mm -hmm. she? They were Hank big. Williams they were almost sweethearts, yeah. I do believe. So sweet love story. Love, you'll never be mine. 
making believe I'll spend my lifetime loving you and making believe making believe But my happy hours are far and so few My plans for the future will never come true Making believe, what else can I do? Making believe, I'll spend my Good harmony right there. All right, Tyler, you're up. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> so this is the one that Anita Carter did with Hank Snow. I never will marry. I guess this I'll be Hank. Version. Yeah, you'll be Hank. Okay. <laughs> I guess we're sweethearts then, <laughs> since we dressed alike. That's right. That works for me. <laughs> Are y'all having a good time today? There's Chelsea. This, uh, this next one is an old traditional tune. Um, has its roots in, in balladry. But the great thing about the Carters going back out in the 50s and the 60s and becoming country stars is they took a lot of those old time songs. There's the spider web right here between these two mics. Y'all can't see it, but I'm going to get bit in a second. Um, the great thing about them being out in, in country music in the 50s and the 60s is they, is they were taking these songs that were considered mountain songs and playing them to a wide audience and often arranging them for modern country music. So uh, keeping them alive through a very different sort of vein. And this is one, one of those. This is I Never Will Marry. Um, if we're going to be sweethearts, then... I guess this is not really a great, great fitting song for us if we're never going to marry. <laughs> One morning as I ramble down by the seashore, the wind it did whistle. Shells in the ocean 
shall be my deathbed. The fish in deep waters swim over my head. Thank you. Sounded good, Tyler. Hey, Annie. Hey, Adam. <laughs> Glad to see so many friends out here today. Home Craft Days always feels like a massive, massive family reunion, and I just don't have enough time to say hello to everybody. So, hello to everybody that I know. I'll just get it out of the way right here on stage. <laughs> Let you know it, how happy I am to see you all. Let's give it up for Tyler and Todd for putting the <laughs> festival on this year. <laughs> Good job. Well, thank you all. Um, that means a lot. It, it takes a lot, and it takes a very big team. It's not just uh, Todd and I, uh, Mike Gilley and Vicki Ratliff and Alan Maggard and a whole team of folks, Amy Greer, uh, John Schoolcraft, lots and lots of people here at the college. Pretty much the entire staff is involved in putting this on, um, not to mention we're, we partner with ProArt and the Crooked Road and the Virginia Commission for the Arts. They all make this possible. So if you see any folks involved with any of those organizations, please tell them thank you and tell them how much you appreciate this. Um, Big Stone Gap is really, really lucky to have an institution here that supports the cultural arts and, and local arts and local musicians and um, local crafters. So. Here's another Kate Peter Sturgill song called My Poor Orphan Child. And she was from up the road and where, Josephine? Virginia? That's right. Kate lived in Josephine, which um, for those of you that are from around here in Wise County, you'll know that is a suburb of Norton, the city of Norton. Um, kind of like how the Bronx is connected to New York. Josephine is just like that for Norton. <laughs> Maybe that joke doesn't make as much sense if you've not been to the Bronx, but... <laughs> yeah, and she, uh, she helped collect songs with AP back in the 20s and 30s, right? That's right. She was a distant cousin of AP Carter. Um, Josephine did a lot of song collecting. Uh, Josephine and Kate Peter Sturgill did a lot of song collecting around here. And uh, she did a lot of songwriting. She wrote a lot of her own songs. She's really known for um, Deep Settled Peace and... <laughs> This is a mighty long highway out there behind us. <laughs> and uh, Kate was also part of a string band that played on the radio in Norton. She had a very um, long career in music. And recently, back in the winter, somebody told me that uh, Porter Wagner came to Big Stone Gap and there was a concert in Bullet Park, a Porter Wagner concert in Bullet Park, and that Kate was the opening act. And I don't know if there's any proof of that or any pictures, but if anybody out there knows about it, I'd love to know more about it. So uh, please share that information with us. So this is a, a ballad that Kate sang, um, which Kelsey does beautifully. How about a big hand for Kelsey Ray? Thank you. <laughs> I only get to see Kelsey a couple of times a year, but I'm, I'm so glad she asked me to play with her today. So uh, this is Poor Orphan Child.
watched o'er the steps of the poor orphan child. Yet this done and saw the night breeze is blowing, clouds there are none, and stars gleam high. God in His mercy, protection is showing. Comfort and hope to the poor orphan child. There is a thought that more strength avail me. Thou both have shelter and kindred to spare. Heaven is. is a friend to the poor orphan child. Whew. That's a pitchy one. Thank you. We should uh, tell him about meeting Lori. Yeah. So this song I love, it's uh, another Anita Carter song. She recorded this back in uh, 1962. And uh, I was waiting tables at this place down in Nashville and I actually waited on her daughter, Lori. And it was funny because I was listening to the song on the way to work. And so she just was tickled to death that I was covering her mom's songs here at Home Craft Day. So hopefully she'll make it out here one day. I need some water on this. We'd, we'd love to have her. Yeah, yeah <laughs> if Oscar. It, if was anybody can me. get a hold of Lori Carter. <laughs> I can get a hold of her. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, Oscar Harris was saying that she's such an amazing singer because she can sing in any key. So I guess she gets it from her mom. Yeah, Anita was um, always really known as, as one of the strongest singers out of that family. So if you've never listened uh, to much of her music, I encourage you to do so. All that music that the Carters produced in the 50s and the 60s, um, to me, is kind of golden country music those recordings are. I love listening to those and covering some of those songs. Um, it's really uh, a shame that they're not more well known for their time period in the 60s. Most people associate the Carter family with old time music and sort of the beginnings of uh, the bluegrass repertoire that we all know, but um, they've had influence on, on many, many people. And I always think it's so sad that in the same time period, um, I was just up in Richmond, Virginia a couple weeks ago, and Maybell and the girls actually lived in Glen Allen, uh, which is just north of Richmond, when they were on the radio there in the 50s, and that's where they picked up Chet Atkins. And if you know much about country music history, when uh, Chet Atkins enters country music scene, he really changes the sound to this slick electric guitar sound that puts so many musicians, like the Carter family, out of business. But they were his first job. Mother Maybell gave Chet Atkins his first country music job, and he toured with them for a couple of years, and then he got really big and created the Nashville sound and put people like the Carter family out of work. So I always think it's very yeah, interesting and, uh, that Anita, they <laughs> opened the gate. Anita does a version with Chet Atkins and Make Him Believe, yeah. and it's something else. So, okay. Uh, as the sparrow goes. Where you are going, there'll be no chance for a letter to get through. But millions. Bringing my message to you
keep you from harm Lover, where you go And you see a sparrow That is your arrow To guide you to my Every time we practice, um, Kelsey really works to save her voice, so she sings real quiet. So it's really nice to get to hear kind of built these out. Thanks to finally. the sound man, Alan Maggard. That's right. Big hand for Alan and Thomas and Maggie. And thank you, Tyler, so much for playing with me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks so much. It means the world to me. So y'all might know this one, uh, Anita and June and Merle Kilgore? Yes. Merle Kilgore. Um, they wrote this song together, and if, uh, if you know it, sing along. <laughs> I don't know why I'm having to think about this. This is one of the most recognizable songs in the world. That's why I'm making it too hard. <laughs> Burns, 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 burns The ring of fire The ring of fire The ring of fire The taste of love is sweet That's right. Um, well, thank you all so much. We're wrapping up just a tiny bit early, but this stage is going to keep on rolling. We've got another group coming on at 315. And I just want to let you know there's music happening all day today up until around 6 o'clock. And then uh, if you're not too full of funnel cakes and chicken on a stick and all that great food, you can get down at the uh, food court 
afterwards, come on down to the Big Stone Gap Visitor Center. There's going to be a block party and a free square dance and cakewalk uh, for anybody who wants to come down. You don't have to have a partner, and you don't have to know how to dance. I'll teach you everything you need to know. Uh, some <laughs> band members from the Empty Bottle String Band and from the Rail Splitters are going to get together and uh, play down there. So come join us. I'll teach you how to square dance. Uh, we'll have lots and lots of fun. And uh, one more time, I just want to say thanks to Mountain Empire Community College and all the staff here, all the volunteers, um, everybody at the Crooked Road and Pro Art and the Virginia Commission for the Arts. We're so very grateful for all of their support. So one last time, Kelsey Ray. Thank you. And I have an album out that I wrote last summer. And uh, if you're interested in it, just come find me. And I'll get you one. But thank you so much. I love being here at Homecraft Days. <laughs> Stick around, we've got more music to come.